Having an Android TV box can take your TV watching experience to the next level with a level of convenience, ease of use, and additional functionality. But with tons of options available, most of them claiming to do the same thing, which one is best for you? Well, in this video, we break down the top five Android TV boxes on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking for an Android TV box that is easy to use, offers the most apps, or just want the best product that money can buy, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which Android TV box will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the Xiaomi Mi Box S, our pick for best TV box for the money. The Xiaomi Mi Box S is a great all-around TV box at an affordable price. It's great if you want to casually stream and don't need a lot of the fancy features of more expensive models. The Xiaomi Mi Box S is a basic square box with rounded corners and offers ports for HDMI, USB, audio, and power. Setup is simple. Just connect the HDMI port to your TV or receiver, plug the power cable into an outlet, add batteries to the remote, power everything up, and follow the on-screen prompts. The remote is pretty basic, and in addition to the usual features, it has a voice search button that invokes the Google Assistant. It's all relatively easy to get used to, and anyone who's familiar with Android devices should have no trouble at all. The Mi Box S supports both 4K and HDR, and has Android TV 8.1 built in, so you'll be able to take advantage of the huge Android TV ecosystem of apps like Netflix and YouTube, plus services like Google Cast, the ability to mirror your Android phone, Google Assistant, and more. In daily use, this Android TV box performs very well. It's not as snappy as something like the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro that we'll see later in the video, but for the price it offers pretty good overall performance. However, it doesn't have the processing power needed for gaming, but for less than $100, it's hard to complain. Gaming aside, it's still a decent streamer, and for apps like Netflix and YouTube, it's more than good enough. Sure, more performance-intensive tasks may cause the Mi Box S to struggle at times, but again, that's quite acceptable at this low price point. While it's not perfect, the Xiaomi Mi Box S still has a lot going for it, and if you're looking for an Android-based streaming box without the high price tag, it still has plenty to offer. Next up, the Amazon Fire TV Cube. The Amazon Fire TV Cube takes the best features of the more affordable, best-selling Fire TV and the hands-free voice control of the Echo speaker and merges them in a single media streamer, which turns out to be an overall great product. As the name implies, the Android streamer is a cube with glossy black plastic sides and a matte black top panel and the front face features a translucent bar that illuminates when Alexa is listening. It also houses eight pinhole far-field mics and four buttons typical of most Echo devices for volume, muting, and a button to manually wake Alexa. The cube sits on four rubber feet to lift the device up slightly so the downward-firing speaker can be heard. The remote is simple and features a glossy circular navigation pad and a pinhole microphone above the mic button that lets you use Alexa through the remote, instead of the cube's microphone, without a wake word. To get set up, plug the cube in and connect it to your TV. Use the remote to put the cube in setup mode, and like the Xiaomi Mi Box S, simply follow the on-screen instructions to get everything up and running. Once you have the basic setup done, you can start adding apps and services, including Hulu, Sling TV, and PlayStation View, and premium channels like HBO and Showtime. And thanks to HDMI CEC, you can use the cube to control all your home theater devices. And if you make any changes or additions to your system, you can use the equipment control menu to add new devices to the cube's command list, tweak individual devices' commands, or go through the equipment setup process again to start from scratch. If you're already invested in the Amazon ecosphere, or looking for an Android TV box that combines Amazon Fire TV with an Echo speaker, the Amazon Fire TV Cube would be an excellent choice. It's easy to use, reasonably priced, and offers a solid overall user experience. Next up, the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, our pick for best overall Android TV box. NVIDIA may be best known for its GPUs that are popular with gamers, but also has its own range of streaming devices, including the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. This 4K streaming player lets you access popular on-demand services like Amazon Prime Video and Netflix, but also lets you play today's most popular games through the GeForce Now service. It's simply the best streaming device you can purchase right now, although it's not perfect. Shaped like a slim wedge with some angular indentations carved into it, the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro is deceptively small in comparison to the power it packs. Around the back, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports, a 4K HDR compatible HDMI port, an Ethernet port, and a proprietary power port. Wi-Fi is built in, as is Bluetooth 5.0 for connecting wireless accessories. The Shield TV Pro runs Android TV and is powered by a Tegra X1 Plus processor and offers 3GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. The two USB ports make adding external storage a cinch, not to mention plugging in a wired controller for keyboard or mouse. 
Android TV gives you access to all the major streaming services in their 4K HDR configurations, from Netflix to Amazon Prime Video to the BBC iPlayer and everything in between. There's also media server apps like Plex, a ton of Android TV games to try out, and for those happy to navigate the potential pitfalls, a host of retro gaming emulators to tinker with too. Plus, Google Chromecast is built in, so any Chromecast supporting mobile app that you want to throw up onto the big screen via the Shield will be supported here. If you're looking for the best of the best, the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro is pretty much unrivaled when it comes to 4K HDR streaming and is an excellent choice. It also delivers tons of potential for gamers, whether playing games stored locally on the device or over the net through the GeForce Now service. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops. So if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Next up, the Roku Ultra. The Roku Ultra improves on the streaming quality of its predecessors by adding Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support, alongside extras like the voice remote with headphone jack and improved Wi-Fi antenna that make it a great overall value. The Roku Ultra is a flat streaming video box that inconspicuously blends in with all your other AV equipment. There's not much going on with the exterior of the box, but on the back panel, you'll find an HDCP 2.2 HDMI 2.0A port for video out, an Ethernet port, and, like the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, there's a USB port that could be used to connect a USB drive for additional storage. The Roku Ultra also supports Dolby Atmos pass-through to an external soundbar. Powering the Ultra is a quad-core processor, and a Wi-Fi dual-band wireless antenna is in place that, according to Roku, helps expand the range of the player by twice the distance. You'll also like that the Ultra jumps quickly from one app to another and starts up a show or movie with surprising speed. In addition to streamlining searches and more, the voice remote has a really great feature, a 3.5mm auxiliary jack on the side of it that allows you to connect a pair of headphones for private listening. This is perfect for late night viewing, when everyone else has gone to bed and you don't want to wake them up, and is something that very few other streaming devices have. And with HDMI CEC on board, the remote can be used to turn on and off your TV and control the volume. If you're looking for an Android-based streaming box that offers almost every streaming service available without costing an arm and a leg, the Roku Ultra is a great streaming device. It also gives you Roku TV, one of the easiest to use interfaces, and offers high-end streaming performance at a more affordable price point than something like the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. Last but not least, the TiVo Stream 4K, our pick for best budget Android TV box. The TiVo Stream 4K has the features of streaming devices that cost twice as much, a premium remote, a handy recommendation algorithm, and a sub $50 price point. The TiVo Stream 4K is a streaming dongle that hangs off the back of your TV and connects directly to an HDMI port. For power, a small adapter is included, or instead, you could use a USB port on your TV for power if one is available. Inside the unit is an Amlogic S905 Y2 SoC. 2 GB of RAM and 8 GB of storage, and it supports 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. The specs aren't exactly cutting edge, and performance when switching between menus or shows can be sluggish at times, but it's not a deal breaker when you consider the price. One of the highlights of this system is the included remote. It's a premium, functional Bluetooth remote with a built-in microphone for voice commands, as well as shortcuts for Sling TV and Netflix. The customized version of Android TV gives the TiVo Stream 4K an organized interface, Chromecast support, and Google Assistant, and it's definitely one of the major advantages Android TV has over Roku. And like the Roku Ultra, the TiVo Stream 4K supports Dolby Atmos pass-through, so you could connect a soundbar that is Dolby Atmos capable. Setup is a short, guided process that ends with you choosing your favorite types of content. You'll be shown two choices at a time, and your picks will dictate the content you see on the TiVo Stream app and on your homepage. If you're looking for a budget Android streaming box with good recommendations, the algorithm of the TiVo Stream 4K is one of the best available and is a perfect option. While it's a bit sluggish when switching between menus and other functions, its low price point makes it pretty easy to look past. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.